makeup video. Meet Paulina Poroskova, Estee Lauder's celebrated model and spokesperson. Paulina's mother, Anna Poroskova, and her cousin Veronica Raish. They're here with Mark Hales, one of today's top international makeup artists. He'll show you how to achieve a look that's right for you and share some secrets he's learned working with the most beautiful women in the world. Once you know the basic techniques, you can go on to try different looks for day, evening, and weekend. Color. It's what we love about makeup. The freedom to choose. The fantasy of light and shadow. Today, makeup is a personal expression. The way you want to present yourself to the world. And no one understands that better than Estee Lauder. No matter what your age or style, we want you to enjoy experimenting and playing with makeup. So get ready. You're going to love the way you look and feel. Let's see how Mark creates the famous face that everyone associates with Estee Lauder. Step by step, he'll show us the basic techniques that he and Estee Lauder have developed to make making up foolproof. Of course, you always want to start with clean, smooth skin. And the best way to get it is with a regular cleansing and moisturizing routine. Make sure you have a good even light source. That means it doesn't cast any shadows anywhere on your face. Then you're ready to begin. I always start with foundation. You'll want to choose a color that most closely matches your natural skin tone. This is great shade for you. Yeah, it's perfect. You always want foundation to look as undetectable as possible. For the most natural looking application, use your fingertips to apply. Start in the center of your forehead and work out. That way you follow the directions of the fine hairs you may have along your cheeks or hairline. Apply foundation lightly. Don't pull the skin and blend gently under the eye. I use my fingertips to really work it in. When you use your fingers, you can tell exactly how much foundation you're using. Once you've applied it, take a damp sponge and go over the entire face. Don't take more foundation to do under the chin. Just use what's left on the sponge to blend under the jawline and fade the color away. When you're finished, you shouldn't be able to tell where it begins or where it ends. Next, you apply the concealer. There are some makeup artists who believe that you should apply the concealer before the foundation. But I find when you do that, you blend it all away. If you put it on after the foundation, you'll have a lot more control. Apply a little with your finger at the inner corner of the eye and blend into the dark area. Again, be careful not to pull the skin. You always want to be very gentle around the eye area. Pulling could cause lines. Use only a small amount, then work down into the cheek area so there's no line or stopping place. That keeps your makeup from looking mask-like, or giving you those white raccoon eyes. Concealer is a heavier coverage, so you can apply to areas where the foundation didn't hide any blemishes or spots. Use a little on your nose if tiny broken capillaries are causing redness. Take it over the eyelid to provide a base for your eyeshadow. When you finish blending, it's time to set the foundation with powder. Take some loose powder with a puff and take off the excess on the back of your hand. You don't want to apply powder with your brush. That may undo the corrective work you've done. Gently pat and roll across the forehead and down the nose. Using what's left, take it gently under the eyes. Always have a light hand with powder. Too much will draw attention to fine lines. Apply a small amount to your lid to prevent oiliness. That's the great thing about loose powder. It evens out the oils in your skin. You can take a pressed powder along with you to touch up. When you've gone over the whole face, take a clean brush and remove the excess powder. Now you're ready for color. I'm going to be showing you a daytime look on Paulina. This is perfect for work or going out. In fact, anytime you want a sophisticated day look. You'll want to start with the brows if you need reshaping. Polina has perfect brows, so we can go right to the eyeshadows. Choose colors that complement, not match your clothes. You don't want to look contrived. I like to put a very light dusting of loose powder under the eye to catch any excess shadow that may fall. 
Then I take the lightest color I'm going to be working with. Dust off the excess on the back of my hand, then take it under the brow, blending across the brow bone. The darker color goes on the lid, starting from the inner corner to the outer edge and to the center crease. If you're in doubt as to how far to take it, look straight ahead into a mirror and draw a line with a shadow. Raise the lid and get as close to the lashes as possible so there's no white line between the lashes and the eyelid. Apply a little of the darker shade under the lashes and lightly blend into the inner corner. Blend into the lighter shade at the top. You do want to keep the emphasis on the upper lid, so please don't use a lot on the bottom. I'm going to use an automatic pencil to line. This is a daytime look, so you don't want any hard edges. Start from the inner corner and work out. Don't go down at the outer corner. Use a cotton swab to blend into the eyeshadow. Everyone's eyes are different, so you want to experiment, see what looks good on you. When you're done, brush away the excess powder you put under the eyes to catch the excess eyeshadow. When you apply the mascara, do the upper lashes first. Do one or two coats. Really work it in. It makes your lashes incredibly thick. It also dries the mascara and helps separate the lashes. Finish with a light coat on the lower lashes. If you get any smudges, put a little foundation on the cotton swab, squeeze into a point, let it dry a little and gently work out the smudge. Now I'm going to finish Molina's eye makeup. Take off the excess powder and foundation with a brow brush. Then finish your eye makeup with brow gel to keep them in place. Brow gel should always be your last step for eye makeup so that you don't get any shadow on it. Applying it is easy. Just brush it in with fine gentle strokes. Next take some blush on the brush. Take the excess off the back of your hand. The bigger the brush, the more natural your blush will look. Don't put the spiky bristles on your face. Sweep on the color at an angle. Go upwards on the cheekbones towards the hairline. Don't go too close to the nose. Remember, you never want any hard lines on your face. You want to give your skin a warm glow, not contour it. You shouldn't be able to tell exactly where the blush begins and ends. Paulina has a great lip shape, so I'm going to follow her lip line with pencil. Choose a color that's as close to your lipstick shade as possible. Use short strokes, then feather in with a pencil. Matching lipstick color to your clothes exactly is not necessary. Choose a color that is in harmony with your clothes and looks right on you. Do you like this color? Yes, I love it. I'll apply the lipstick over the pencil with a brush, starting with the bow of the lips. Using a lip brush gives you better control. I know it seems like a lot more bother, but once you've learned how to use it, you'll see how much better your lipstick looks. Apply to the center of the lower lip and then fill it in with your lip brush. Once you've done it a few times, this whole routine should take about 10 to 15 minutes. And that isn't long to create a look that will last you an entire day. After all, it's your time to spend on yourself. Now to review. Cleanser and moisturizer, Lucidity Foundation, Automatic Cream Concealer, Signature Powder Blush, Lucidity Powder, Signature Eyeshadow, Automatic Pencil for Eyes, More Than Mascara, Brow Gel, Automatic Pencil for Lips, Perfect Lipstick, now that you know the basics, we've asked Mark to show us an evening look on Anna. 
and also give us a few tips for more mature skin. As your skin matures, a good skincare routine is essential. Do you moisturize every day and use an eye treatment? Yes, I do. That's great. We begin with foundation. For the more mature skin, a relatively lightweight foundation is important. A lot of women tend to hide behind a heavier one, but that only calls more attention to lines. Apply with a light hand, especially around the eye area. The lighter your application, the more natural your skin will look. Too much accentuates lines instead of hiding them. When you're applying the concealer, use it to cover the dark areas, not puffiness. For more control, dot concealer on with a wand. Go easy on your application. And this is the time to make sure your lighting is good. You don't want to overcompensate for shadows that are only caused by an uneven light source. For a natural glow that won't accentuate lines, use a cream blush. You shouldn't contour with blush. Nature does that for you as you mature. Apply it along the cheekbones, but keep the blush out of the hollows and not too close to the eyes. Don't take it any higher than this. Apply a little at a time. You can always add. Use your fingers and blend towards the ear. Then again, we set the foundation with powder. Now a lot of women remember powder as it used to be, with a lot of talc that dries your skin out. But the new generation of powders softens lines and doesn't dry your skin. It actually gives a softer appearance. Use a puff to apply. There's no need for a heavy application. And just use what's left on your puff under the eyes. Then brush off the excess powder. See how lovely that looks? Let's see. Stunning. Eyebrows give strength and help define the entire face. Use short, light strokes with a pencil that imitate the brow hair. Fill in to make a smooth line, then soften with a brush. Again, apply loose powder under the eyes to catch any shadow that may fall. Use the smallest amount and don't press it in. I just want to mention you should wash your brushes with soap and water. That way you'll keep the clarity of your colors. You'll want to use more dramatic eyeshadow colors for night. And that doesn't mean heavier. Apply the lighter color a little below the brow. Draw a line with the medium shadow above the crease and fill in below. Stay away from frosted shadows. They'll only make your eyes look crepey. Instead, choose either a deeper color than you would use for day, or warm up your eyes with soft, light tones. Always blend well. Make sure there are no separation lines between colors. To look your best in the evening light, put a little pink or peach just under the brow bone to highlight. Brush away the powder from under the eyes. Then define the eyes with a dark pencil on the upper lids only. In the daytime, you'll want to use a more neutral color. Look down and raise the lid. Then draw a fine line as close to the lashes as possible, holding the edge out so your line is smooth.
Go from the inside corner to the outside, as close to the roots of the lashes as you can. Use small, gentle strokes. Don't pull the eye. Blend from the outer edge in with a cotton swab so you don't make the mistake of extending the line too far. To make sure, take the cotton swab and sweep towards the eyebrow to make sure you don't have a downward pull. Then apply your mascara. Remember to concentrate the mascara on the top lashes. Then, brush on your brow gel. Don't be too critical of each stage. Wait until you've done the whole face, and then see if you've got the effect you need. If you need to make any adjustments, do it later. Now, with your lip pencil, draw a line just on the edge of your lip, correcting any uneven edges. If you have a downward turn to your mouth, stop just short of the outer corner of your upper lip. Your lip shape tends to become less defined as you mature, and you want to add back this definition. When you finish the line, fill in the lip with pencil. Now go over the lips lightly with your lipstick. Put a single layer of tissue over your lips and powder to set the color. Brush away the excess powder. Then do your finishing layer of lipstick. Now go back and put a hint of powder blush to intensify the color. That finishes your evening look. To review, cleanser and moisturizer, lucidity foundation, automatic cream concealer, cream blush, lucidity powder, automatic pencil for brows, signature eyeshadow, automatic pencil for eyes, more than mascara, brow gel, automatic pencil for lips, all day lipstick, now you know how to do a day look and an evening look. But aren't there times when you want to look like you have almost no makeup on at all? Mark will show us how to do a natural look that's perfect for Veronica or anyone who wants a simple five-minute makeup. On a young woman, cleansing is a very important step. Then moisturize to protect your skin. Do you ever have trouble with breakouts? Sometimes. You know, you should really use an all-free product. Okay. Okay. Now we'll do a natural look. And when I say natural, I don't mean naked or unmade up. It's a quick fix you can do in a couple of minutes to make yourself look great when you don't want to bother with the whole routine. I'll start with concealer on any areas that need covering or evening out. Pat gently under the eyes. Then cover any redness around the nose. Here's a trick for covering breakouts. Dry the concealer a little on the back of your hand. It will cover better. The same techniques we've used earlier still apply even with a short application. Instead of foundation, I'll use more than powder. Apply it lightly down the T-zone area, around the nose and then out. This gives a very light finish that you can still see your skin through. Really, it just smooths out your skin tone and makes your blush apply easier.
apply a neutral shadow from the eyelashes to the brow. Then, for the eyes and cheeks, you can use a special powder called Just Blush. Remember to take the excess off on the back of your hand. Sweep loosely over the lids and down on top of the cheekbones. This gives Veronica a wonderful glow. Take a darker shadow and line the eyes softly, just above the lashes. Just a few strokes of mascara on the upper lids complete the eye makeup. Don't do the bottom lashes. Betsy, ukaj nam, otočce. Wow, you look stunning, beautiful. Even though this is a natural look, eyebrows are still important. You'll want to make sure they're well groomed and plucked. Then use a pencil to fill in if necessary. Use brow gel to keep your brows in place. To finish, apply a light coat of lip shine. It's easy and quick, and you only need the smallest amount. If you want to change your natural look into an evening look, you can add liquid eyeliner. Normally, we do it before the mascara. Hold the eyelid and just give one or two smooth strokes. Do you like that? I love it. To review, cleanser and moisturizer, automatic cream concealer, more than powder, signature eyeshadow, just blush eye and cheek powder, more than mascara, brow gel, just a kiss lip shine. Anna, Veronica, and Paulina each very different, each beautiful, and all made up using the same techniques. Now it's your turn to experiment. Your Estee Lauder beauty advisor will be glad to answer any individual questions you may have and help you select the perfect colors. Review the basic steps, get your makeup ready, and get started. Don't be afraid to play with color. See how different looks work at different times of the day. It's your face your outlook, and your time to have fun. Here's a listing of some of the products used in this video. Lucidity Light Diffusing Makeup and Lucidity Translucent Loose Powder. Demi Matte Oil Free Makeup. Signature Eyeshadow. Automatic Pencils for Eyes, Lips, and Brows. More Than Mascara. Signature Powder Blush. Perfect Lipstick Hydrating Formula and All Day Lipstick Long Wearing Formula. More Than Powder. Just Blush Eye and Cheek Powder. The 4 Minute Workout for Normal to Oily Skin. The 4 Minute Workout for Normal to Dry Skin. Stop by your Estee Lauder counter and we'll help you select the formulas that work best for your skin type and lifestyle.